Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again, as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Cheers to those of you that have your beers. I hope you're enjoying your work week so far. And I've got something new to share with you guys today. Call it a small tool haul, if you will. It's just something that I noticed that I didn't have that I really wanted. And I didn't know that I didn't already have it until I started looking at what it was that I have. Does that make sense? <laughs> I sure hope so. First, let me show you what I had, and then I'll tell you why I thought I had what I needed, and then turned out I didn't, so I ended up buying something different. But I've had these for about seven or eight years now. It's a Mac Tools uh, part number CB4S carbide bit set. You might have seen these on the truck at some point in time. And I don't know if we can look closely, but do you see how there's cross hatching going on in here for all of these bits? Well, I just found out that these bits, you're limited to using these mostly on cast iron. And in order for you to use any of these for aluminum, you would need a single flute. And these actually have uh, double flutes from, from what I told and what I understand. And even though I have used these, uh, I think this one specifically, on some aluminum and I very lightly of course and same thing with this one I've always just used a little tiny wire brush to clean it off all the particles and I always sprayed and lubricated it so it never really got trapped in between the flutes but I was told that these are actually more specifically for cast iron and not aluminum and since I have a plan and the plan consists of porting the cylinder head on the Jeep for our uh, 4 liter build that we have going on for the 4.7 stroker build I want to port the head and I want to port the intake or at least gasket match it and I'll do a video on that when I'm actually ready to do a video on that because it's very time consuming but I didn't have the proper carbide bit to do the whole process so I feel like I've been waiting for these all week but I just ordered these off of Amazon uh, sometime over the weekend and I ended up getting them today and I'm so incredibly excited to share these with you. These are made by Kodiak, made in the USA, 10 piece carbide burr set, quarter inch shank, double cut. Now from the image that I saw on Amazon, it looked like it came with both uh, the single flute as well as the double flute carbide bits and that's what I'm after right there a dual collection and this has way more pieces than uh, mine had so hopefully it gets into tighter spots or it takes more material off if and when I need to oh let's take a look at this did I get the whole tape oh I missed a little corner here hang on there we go I think I got it oh and I get to put them in their case it looks like that's okay with me so it comes with this really nice nifty little wood box Kodiak cutting tools 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and let's take a look at all the little pieces that it comes with here so here's number one let me see if I can't slide this out here they definitely have a longer shank now this is another uh, looks like a double flute, so this would be more for cast iron. And it's smaller than the one that I have. And about the same shank, so that's okay. But it's smaller, so that means it's going to get into... It'll take less off and hopefully get into tighter spots. We have a, uh, a bigger, rounder version here of one of the ones that I already have over here in the smaller kit little bit longer of a shank also double fluted just kind of showing you guys all that comes in this kit oh, here's another one this one's even bigger than the other one look at that the square one cross hatch double flutes take a look here's the little one that I have here you can see I've used that one probably quite a bit more than I do the others oh, I'm so excited about this kit oh, I'm so excited all right, and now here is, oh, if I can get this open, a smaller one, which is about the same as this one here that I have, but a little bit longer. 
So that might get in there a little bit further when it comes time to port the head or the intake. And then I have a medium sized one of that square. I have a small one that's gonna be about the same as the small one we have in here. And then here are some other ones that I got that I kind of gravitated towards too. And that was the, uh, the round one. But again, it's the cross hatch. So this looks like it's, maybe it's all for cast iron. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments. It looked like it came with both single and double flutes. So there's another one right there. I'm not seeing any single fluted ones. This might have been a bummer. This might be a bummer. Here's a smaller one right here. And here's one that I have that's approximately the same size as the one that I have in here. All right, so looks like I picked up primarily an entire cast iron set. What I was hoping for was something more like this. See the single flutes? And I only have this one because somebody gave this one to me uh, in college. They worked at a, a machine shop and they actually gave this one to me. So it's the only single flute one that I have. So I've actually been, I kind of moved this kit around a little bit like this. I was just showing you what came in the original kit and then I put that right there and that all seems to fit nice in that little package. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you guys actually do use carbide bits a lot uh, for milling, machining, or just taking off small pieces. Can I use the uh, these cross-hatched, double-fluted uh, carbide bits for aluminum as well? Or am I pretty much just limited to using those for cast iron? Please let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Thanks as always for watching, and I look forward to your response. I could really use the help in this matter because uh, I do want to make sure that I'm uh, you know, get, receiving the right information from my tool distributor. And the information, like I said, that I was told was that these are primarily for uh, cast iron and not aluminum. So uh, I wish somebody would explain that to me. That would be very beneficial and helpful. Uh, like I said, I am trying to do this 4.7 build, and I would like to port the head as well as the intake. So let me know down in the comments. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. This is.